So almost one month to the day since the first release, the second Android 11 developer preview has dropped and we've been delving in to share what we think are the top new user facing features that don't need to be enabled via ADB. Thanks for watching 9to5 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. One of the biggest additions so far is the ability to finally always require that your eyes be open before your phone unlocks on the Pixel 4. It can be enabled in your face unlock settings and so far I think it works pretty well. Another big change that we're not too sure of so far is the notification shade UI which has had bigger spacing between sections. It's not exactly the most attractive but maybe it will grow on us. That said the new UI is interesting to say the least and hopefully it will get tweaked over time. Thanks to the second Android 11 developer preview you can now finally silence notifications fully thanks to the ability to hide notifications from your status bar. This doesn't get rid of those notifications entirely but as they'll still live in your notification shade but it is far neater up top as a result. While the native screen recording was welcome in the first Android 11 developer preview, Preview 2 adds a new UI that allows you to customise your screen recordings and gives you some rudimentary controls including the ability to show on screen touches, record microphone audio and it even shows a countdown for when a recording is about to start. Best of all screen recording overall now works much better than previously. Have you ever swiped away a notification and then found yourself trying to remember what it was? Well thanks to the neat new shortcut in your notification shade you can swipe down and get right into your entire notification history with just a few presses. The second Android 11 developer preview now allows you to mark conversation notifications as important from your notification shade and it includes a new UI when you long press on any notifications too. On top of that, when you do mark a conversation as important, messages from that particular contact will appear at the top of your notification shade and you'll even get a contact icon in your notification bar if there is a profile picture assigned. New customization options have come to this styles and wallpapers section, although the new lock screen clock option only gives you a solitary stock option, while the wallpaper section now includes a brand new UI with larger thumbnails and a far cleaner overall aesthetic. So those were our favorite user facing new features in Android 11 developer preview 2. If you have any of your own or if you've spotted anything new that we haven't noticed then be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Until next time though this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.